hey there this is Vanessa de Berlay and welcome to my channel today we're going to talk about sales funnels I want to explain to you what a sales funnel is some people get into business and the first thing that they do is they build a website nothing wrong with that but the difference between a website and a sales funnel is in a website pretty much you drive your traffic to the website and then in the website you drive them over to the sales funnel because that's where sales take place I don't want to get into a debate about whether or not you need a website there's a lot of people that are very successful without one and other people will tell you that you need one that's something that you need to research and decide but in my opinion you do need a sales funnel and there's lots of places you can go to get one but before you even jump in and get a sales funnel let's understand what it is like I said a sales funnel is where sales take place and the reason it's called a funnel is because it's just like um if you've seen a funnel in the kitchen when when your mom's making recipes or you are yourself um I don't even know if people use funnels anymore um but anyway it's large at the top and then it funnels down smaller you use it if you're trying to put something into a bottle with a small um mouth on it or something and that's kind of how sales work uh, somebody came up with the term but when you're driving people to your funnel you're going to drive maybe thousands of people to it let's say you have an offer and we'll explain what the funnel is but explain understand the process first okay so you're going to drive all these people let's say 2,000 people to your funnel you have created one okay you have a product that you're selling well there are steps in that funnel that you bring people through and I'm going to show you that in a moment but by the time you get to that narrow part at the bottom maybe only 50 people will buy so that's what a funnel is and that's why we call it a sales funnel it's a funnel because of the shape you're starting out with a large group and funneling to a smaller amount and it's a sales funnel because you're making sales okay so that that's pretty much where it got its name but typically you've seen them um, you've been on the internet um, probably very often you're seeing it's coming up in your Facebook feed hey you know I have this free checklist or I have this free webinar that you can go to or here's a free survey I want you to um, fill out or could, could why don't you take this free quiz and see what your IQ is those are all sales funnels they're leading you to something and what they're always asking for is your name and your email address so you've seen them and a lot of times you probably don't even know that you're getting into them so basically that is what the what a funnel is now there's lots of different types of funnels a lot of funnels will sell you a product that's probably the most popular one funnels can be online and funnels happen in real life and I'm going to give you an example of that sometimes you're asked to fill out an application uh, maybe that you're signing up for a um, coaching program and the, they won't take you until you fill out the application first and they want to see if you are uh, they want to vet you to see if you can get in but they've got your email address and your name and they can keep contacting you and following up and building a relationship some of them are for lead generation the only reason that it's there is to get your email address and your name so that you can get on their uh, newsletter list and and get their emails monthly or weekly some of them are to get you to go to a webinar so there's tons and tons of different types of funnels but those are just a few that are the most popular funnels now let me give you an example uh, retail stores uh, I remember years ago um, not even understanding marketing or any of it at online or not online just never even paid attention and I can remember for years going into retail stores and they kept saying I want your email address and I and I always was like why why of course you know they would say well if you give us your email address say you get 10 percent off of your purchase well okay well then all of a sudden you're your email box is full of notifications from that retailer I'm going to use Kohl's as one example um, and then all of a sudden in my email I'm getting 30 percent off coupons well what does that make me do it makes me run back to the store and then once you're there uh, maybe it'll say they'll, they'll have another coupon and they'll say well if you spend a hundred dollars today we'll give you a ten dollar coupon that, that you have to use within two weeks and come back so a lot of people do that and and then it makes you come back and buy more at the store so it's a constant once you spend money once and they keep on offering you more and more you just keep spending it you've you've probably could find a situation in your own life where that has happened I know Kohl's I used to live near them and I found myself constantly over there so it was a blessing to move away um, not that I don't like the store but I was there a lot they sucked me in with their their funnel um, think of a dentist office that's another funnel uh, maybe you're looking at a brochure and a local dentist says hey we're new in town come on in and get your teeth whitened we're going to give um, free 
toothbrushes or something well probably more than that but whatever they're gonna give something free if you come check them out they're new and you go in there and say okay well I'm gonna go ahead and get my teeth cleaned here you know my insurance covers it whatever and then on your way out the door you go to pay or you turn in your insurance or whatever and then they say oh we happen to have a special um, teeth whitening everybody wants white teeth right I guess um, and we're gonna have 65% off and then they've sucked you in again that's an upsell so it happens all the time uh, think of cars uh, when you go buy a car sometimes they offer you free detailing or a free point inspection or something something to get you to come back something to get you to spend more money and that's what the funnel is all about so how does that work for me you're probably asking first of all before you have a sales funnel, you have to have something that you're selling. I'm gonna assume you're watching me today because you're um, trying to promote a product, okay? Or service, and so you have to have something that you're selling, okay? So something that you're gonna promote. And you need to be able to drive traffic to the funnel. How do you do that? You can do that with social media, um, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, t Twitter, who else is out there Facebook so any of those social media platforms you're driving traffic to get to your funnel you can also drive traffic by paying for ads you can pay for Facebook ads you can pay for, pay for Google ads and that will drive people to your funnel as well now if you're someone that has a website I'm not recommending you get rid of your website drive people to your website and then make sure on your home page you can then drive them to your funnel it works okay the second step is in the funnel is you have a landing page and that's when people click that button maybe on Facebook you were offering people um, you had a nice long post and you were talking about um, some coat not coaching uh, maybe some healthcare products that you're using and you you were just sharing it and you said hey if you want to check them out or, or maybe I have some recipes I'll give you I just lost some weight and I can offer you a free my favorite seven free recipes or something like that and people are gonna click it and then they end up on your landing page and on that landing page you have an email that will send them that free item that you promised whether it was an ebook or a checklist or whatever and that goes to them well now you've collected information from them and as an opt-in if you just want to get their email address and their name you can also have them opt in by getting them to come to the page and then you could ask questions about their health like are you male or are you female and then the next question could be um, how many how much weight would you like to use you've been on those surveys remember and it's, it's it's trying to get you to answer all these questions and then at the end they'll say well give us your email address and your name and we'll send you the perfect um, health workout system for you the perfect diet or whatever um, I've seen we've all seen those okay after that let's say you fill it out and you give them your your name then there might be something called a trip wire a trip wire is usually an offer that you can't refuse for instance you might um, you might want to offer these the, the group since you're doing health care you've already given them some free recipes so maybe you have um, some great 10 minute video workouts that you did for a week so you could say for twenty dollars i will give you a week's worth seven different workouts videos that i made myself for you that will help you and they're only 10 minutes long because i know you're busy blah 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 only twenty dollars and then maybe you have a couple bonuses with it but that gets them to pull out their charge card so that's the third step after that hey wait a minute don't leave I have something to offer you it's called an upsell you might have a 30-day workout plan that you're selling for $500 and so you're getting them um, pulled in for that and then finally before they leave you might have their one-time offer there's a timer running you have to decide within the next four hours or 30 minutes whatever you want it to be 24 hours um, coaching one-on-one -on -one coaching with me to help you with your workout I, I will be in your home through your computer and ha and I will help coach you through this process and then that would be more money so that's how a funnel works if that makes sense you're you're bringing them um, you're getting them in up here and people drop out at different points some people will say well I don't wa I want the free I don't want anything so they won't even click it another group will say at the top a lot of people will come in and say yeah I want that free item well maybe only half of those people will buy your um, tripwire 
Okay, and then from there, maybe only a third of them will buy, and then it goes on and on. So again, you could have 2,000 people come in at the top, and maybe only 50, maybe only 10 buy at the bottom. So the numbers aren't fantastic at the be the bottom. Look at a funnel, and, and you can see the shape, that it gets smaller and smaller, but that's how. Your next question might be, well, how do I even learn how to make a funnel? Where do I even go? I have a, a link below that you can take a 30-day challenge and learn how to build a funnel. Actually, this was the first challenge that I took over a year and a half ago, and it has changed my life, to be honest. I was dabbling around trying to start a business. I wasn't really sure. I, now that I look back, um, I knew I wanted a business, and I... I thought I knew what I wanted, but once I took that training, that changed everything. It's 30 days and check it out below. It doesn't happen all the time, so you have to sign up for it. So once you click it, you're not obligated to anything. Just check it out. But this 30 day training will take you day by day and tell you exactly what to do to build your funnel so that you can build it. Um, if you are really, really busy and you don't have time in the next 30 days, then I don't recommend that you sign up because you really, I, I know so many people that have signed up and they've, you know, started it and then they decided, you know, I don't have enough time. And to me, that's just a waste of your resources. So what I suggest is see if you have time. I look at the date for, for when the next one starts and make sure you block out those 30 days and make sure you have at least an hour a day minimum to be able to fulfill the requirements. They do let you catch up on the weekends, but there's homework and you have to stay with it. But I, I guarantee you, I promise you, it'll be very valuable and help increase your business, um, whether you're trying to go for lead generation, more sales or whatever. Um, but click it below. Check it out, see how you like it. Um, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video.